Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to have a look at Swiss Army Knife Fire Kits that you can put together yourself. These are designed as last resort emergency backup kits when you go out hiking, camping or bushcrafting in the jungle or forest. While you're likely to be carrying your own fire kits or fire starting gear, these are mini kits that you can incorporate with your Swiss Army knives and have with you at all times. They do not take up much space but can be invaluable when you have nothing else but your Swiss Army knife. Let's get started. I'll be using these three Swiss Army knives as examples in this video but of course you can incorporate the kits into your favorite Swiss Army knife or you can change the kits between knives and rotate them within your outdoor EVC. Let's start off with this knife. This is the Victorinox Walker. It is an 84mm long knife. It's double layered and I think this is a great companion knife for hiking, bushcrafting or camping. And it's a great third knife in a three knife system in my opinion. It's got a main blade. It has a can opener, cap lifter, screwdriver, wire stripper, all in one tool. But most importantly, I think especially for bushcrafting, you have a saw. And in a survival situation, a saw can be very handy to process wood along with the main blade. Now, in terms of a fire kit, I want all the fire kits that are put together to be small enough so that it's not too intrusive and doesn't take up too much space in a pocket. And in comparison to the knife, it's, you know, it doesn't seem overly big. I've seen some kits which have massive uh, attachments and that just doesn't sit well with me. So for this, I have a simple pill capsule holder. So this is kind of an aluminum keychain pill holder which unscrews. And inside here, I keep tinder. So it's packed with cotton infused with petroleum jelly, in this case Vaseline. So it's a great tinder. And with tinder, of course, uh, you need to be able to light the tinder. And that's where this Firefly ferro rod comes in. So this is an after market product uh, but this is a mini ferro rod and you can use the wire stripper here to create sparks from the ferro rod and then to do that what you need to do is to put this at an angle and you can just pull back to create the sparks like that so what you would do is you would remove some of this cotton and that's where the tweezers come in uh, very handy so all you do is take out the tweezers and you can easily remove cotton as you need and then use the ferro rod and your wire stripper to strike it and of course you'd need to process wood that's where the saw and the main blade comes in to create more tinder and more kindling so that you can build your fire so that's a very simple way of using the victorinox walker or any similar victorinox knife with a pill capsule keychain holder uh, to create a fire kit. The next Swiss Army knife and fire kit that we're going to have a look at is this Victoria Knox Waiter. So this is another 84mm long knife and these are nylon scales as well. And this is a single layer knife, meaning it's got the main blade and it's got the can opener and wire stripper tool. But it's also got this cork screw. And inside this cork screw, as you can see threaded, is actually another after market product. This is known as the Helix Tinder. As you can see, it's molded within the corkscrew, making it a great way to bring around and store safely. When you need it, you unscrew it out from the corkscrew. And uh, this Helix Tinder is made by the same company who produces the toothpick ferro rod, a company called Tortoise. And you can now create sparks and light this Tinder, and you can get a fire going. But along with uh, these items over here, we've also got a lanyard with some very special paracord. This is known as fire cord. And this particular one is a brand by P.S. Cook because it's got five or ten different strands within the paracord. Typically, paracord has seven nylon strands. This has three extra. So you've got your seven regular nylon strands. Uh, but specific for this fire kit and relevant to us is this red fire tinder strand so that runs the entire length of your cord and this is a great flame extender for you to get a fire going you also have some line for fishing if you need and there's also a cotton line uh, for repairs and such 
So this is really a great cord. I think 10 in one and you can create a Cobra lanyard yeah, like that, attach it to the end and you've got a great kit attached to your Swiss Army knife. And here's the final Swiss Army knife and fire kit that we're going to have a look at. And this is one of the larger Swiss Army knives. This is the Trailmaster and it measures 111 mm long. And there are quite a few of these uh, models. So this particular one has a main blade. It's also got a saw and it's got a can opener and bottle opener on either side. It's also got this Phillips screwdriver over here. So I do have the Firefly ferro rod attached over here as well. But I have this attached, and this is kind of an EDC cylinder container for a keychain. And it's generally used to keep uh, medication like pills, but also small items. And I think this works perfectly for one of these larger Swiss Army knives. Um, it's not too large, uh, and if you are carrying this, which is already a large knife, this can go into your pocket or into your pouch. Uh, and on the outside of this cylinder, I put some gaffer's tape, which is great. Uh, as a fire extender, but as you know, gaffer's tape can be used for many other things as well, for repairs or even to cover a wound in an emergency. So let's see what we can stuff inside this cylinder. It's quite a bit of stuff for this fire kit. So notice there's an O-ring as well for this sort of uh, cylinder. If you do find one, you want to make sure there's an O-ring so that everything uh, becomes waterproof. So inside here, we've got quite a few things. Uh, let's take out this first stormproof or windproof matches and I've got two of them in here uh, put uh, basically one hits down one hits up uh, to save space and of course I've got some striking uh, surface material over here to light the matches if needed I've also got some tinder in the form of cotton uh, infused with petroleum jelly and this is in a straw that's sealed on both ends and the way you do this is basically take a straw cut it to size put in the um, cotton and then you use a pair of plies to clip one end use a lighter to heat it up so it seals up and then you do it for the other end and that's how you get this small tube there's also got another extra ferro rod a small ferro rod and for this you can use the back of the saw from the Swiss Army knife to create the sparks I've got some hemp thread which is basically hemp thread or rope, very thin rope, uh, but this is infused with bee wax. So this becomes a wick and again another fire extender. And finally I've got some more tinder and just natural jute here. So this can be teased open, so this is rope, there are three strands, but each strand can be teased so it becomes a jute silk, like a little bird's nest, and that will catch a spark very easily. So these are all the items in this small cylinder, but it's quite a few items and I think it makes for a good fire kit for a large Swiss Army knife. And there you have it, different types of fire kits for various Swiss Army knives. I hope I've given you some ideas to create your own fire kit. If you've got any ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.